In this next example, we're going to machine these open pockets here. To do this, we're going to go to Topologic and select the bottom face of the pocket. Again, Top Solid Cam will analyze the geometry and make suggestions. Here we're going to use Spiral Open Pocket. Now, let's go choose uh, end mill. Let's double click on end mill. Let's type a value of 0.25, hit tab, and let's use a quarter inch end mill for this operation. Tools loaded, I'm going to say OK. We're going to take this in one pass in Z, so I'm going to type 100 inches. Here the value doesn't matter because we're never going to violate that face. Now, I'm going to go to bottom stock to leave. I'm going to leave it as 10 thousandths, 10 for the walls and islands. Next, I'm going to set up my successive contouring to have no clearance distance on the external. And for the step over, I'm going to type 0.25 times 0.4 to have a 40% step over. I'm going to say OK and OK. Now, while we're still in top of logic, I'm going to select the face again. This time it's going to come up as bottom finishing. I'm going to say OK via spiral open pocket. Say OK again. And we're just going to reuse the last end mill. So I'm going to double click on the quarter inch end mill. Say OK. In this case, I'm going to leave 25 thousandths on the walls. Go to successive contouring. Again, set that to zero. That to point 0.1. Say OK. And OK. And this finishes the floor for us. And finally, I'm going to select the side wall here. It's going to come up as contouring. We'll say OK. Again, use the quarter inch end mill. And here, we're going to tell it to machine everything in one pass to zero. Now, from here, let's propagate all three operations around to the other pockets. The first thing you need to do is open up your operations manager and turn on all three of those tool paths. Now, let's go to the operation pull down menu, propagation, create. Let's set up our propagation as circular through Z, 360 degrees, and there are eight of these. So we're going to type eight and hit enter. And now, we're going to merge the operations by operation. So we're going to choose one, one, two, two. And now let's go to our selection icon. We can use window selection, drag our window around all those tool paths, say OK. And the last thing you need to do is regenerate your tool path. And now like that, all of those operations have been added. Let's maybe run them through verify and make sure they look good. Looks great. Let's go ahead and quit out of verify and exit out of the operations manager.